sir. Excuse you. Almost out of How's it all going? Stick him up, cowboy. No use whining about it. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So. Here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. From what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here or not. You should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state of Lamorne for you. America's dirty little Over French here. secret. <laughs> the, that's why we love it. Born and raised. <clears throat> excuse well, me. I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. And he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how I get. Oh, and friend, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted.
Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you can talk to them kids in the alley. They'll know how to get. Oh, hey, friend. Oh. You, you'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Walk up to any man with a ring on his finger and turn it three times? Yes. And then after 24 men find any married person, male or female, wearing a wedding ring, turn that ring twice, and then the next man you shake hands with will become your husband. Hi there. Have you seen any kids around here? Oh, yeah. Just through that archway there. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live, New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. That's about bread. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little pair of shits. Let's go. That fellow looks angry. Stop, little shit. Pardon 
and me. Good morning to you. Morning. I'm telling you, a cucumber is definitely a fruit. Stands for when. talking about friend I ain't your friend but that kid is and he robbed from me now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte Senor Bronte that kid was gonna show me before he robbed me <gasps> oh. come on you new in town mister come on mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends mister but I ain't never seen you we ain't friends you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. Well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yokel. Now, get out of here. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Groveling here in the dirt. <sighs> <sighs> Excuse me. Welcome, sir. Come in and have a browse. When you're ready, have a browse of our catalog, and I can go out back and get what you're looking for. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. Would you be interested in me changing some of the parts at all?
Tell me if you want to try one out. No problem, you come back to it any time. Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. <laughs> Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know. Far from real open country. Take a look. Buy me a drink, mon ami, huh? Sure, what you want? Brandy! Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. Mm. Ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Mm. I don't know. 
What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. Oh, how very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I, I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies. Um, how do you say? All ass. Mm? Asshole. Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world, painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris, no. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Mm. I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles, you know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art. It's for idiots. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better, much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. You there, can you spare something for the poor? You, kind sir. Will you help the poor? I ain't so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some, some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do, and God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? 
There are so many who will go hungry tonight. A little can go such a long way. Every coin makes a difference in someone's life. I can see you're persuaded. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, uh, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, yeah, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like saint -Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I am, but we can't ignore the rumors. This is gonna hurt. Hey, what the hell are you? You should have backed out when you had the chance. Like a feather. You asked for it. Bastard! Who's talking now? Okay, you should change. Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. Looking for anything in particular? You timed it well. Some quality pieces in at the moment. Got a few paintings over there. Uh, something for the wife, maybe? Well, you just let me know if I can help at all. A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? back there. I'm afraid of just a few old books. Something don't seem right. Sir, uh, what are you doing back there? Who's back here? Looks uh, like this pulls out or something. Pulls out? No, it's just an old bookcase. Uh, How about you open that door? Door? What door? The hidden door. Or I'll open the hidden door in your chest. They made me do it. I, I was always good to them, but they, they forced me to do it, sir. I, I swear. Open the door. Now. Oh, okay, okay. Just pull the big red book on the bookshelf. It's called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall.
¿Aló? Shh, cállate, cállate. ¿Quién es? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Don't worry. I'm on your side. Por, por favor. Please. I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. No lo sé. Estamos libres y eso es lo que importa. Tenemos que confiar en él. ¿A dónde vamos? Señor. ¿A dónde nos lleva? Brother, Brother Dorkin's friend, Arthur, Arthur Morgan. Come on, you were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my, that's, well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that, they're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come, let's go get something to eat. Manger, comida, please. Hey, you forgot this? Oh, yes, thank you, I, uh, here. Payment for your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis.
apart. Move! Hey! Ridiculous. Who do you think you are? Ah, excuse me, bud! What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. No, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Ooh. There's plenty of real booze here. <laughs> but for shine, well... I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Well, listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Oh, shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes.
Let's go, boy. Yeah. Please, come on! I'm dying! Just checking. I won't bite. Uh, uh, I need medicine! Or, or you need to suck the venom out! Okay. Uh, I have an idea. Uh, um, uh, 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 not a word to anyone. You know I mean? I owe you one, mister. Hopefully, I could repay you someday. Not that right. Uh, now, I gotta get out of here. Uh, don't much like it. Uh, uh, out here. No. Uh, Just stay the hell away from snakes, all right? or buy some of the finest meat to ever grace this town? Is that your head out there hunting again? <sighs> Seems I buy this near every day. Sir? Bad way. Uh, How do you do?
going till you get this right. I can't, Daddy, please. Let him in. He's been trying for hours. <gasps> They're here for your bounty. <gasps> Come to Mama, boy. <gasps> Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. We knew you was coming. I got something to ask. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. I won't take the moment. Quick. You're a forgiven man. Boy, boy, come here. Listen. Exactly as I say. You hear? Don't, don't. I leave ain't us gonna part. fight you in front of my family. Okay? Take me away, or let me loose. You gonna take me or what? Leave my daddy alone, Billy. Leave it. You want it? Okay, now. Oh, look still. away, boy. You remember this moment. You're the man now. Be a man, boy. with that. Just remember what I said, boy. Look at the floor for a bit.
against fate. Now what was the point in all that? Could have got your neck broke. Premature. Like the boy said! Let him go back to his family! You're gonna have trouble with us! Jeez. Shot him. I'm ready. I hope they make it quick. Found this feller on a small holding. Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. You're lucky it's not ah. related. I was out to buy you. Wasn't hurting no one. Maybe you weren't, but those partners of yours were a rough bunch. Go to hell. That's the price for Johnson. I didn't take it, someone else would have. You tell yourself that, bounty hunter. You ain't whiter than white. I hope your past catches up with you. Don't you believe in redemption? I worked the land, I raised the family, I redeemed my... Myself, please. You ran and you kept running. Don't put
this just any other way? Want to buy a paper? Just saying that, yeah. I'll take a paper, please. 